Here's our first example of solving a trigonometric equation. Um, they're asking us to find all values of theta, and they've given us sine squared plus sine is equal to zero. Um, be very careful. We don't want to, um, here's what you don't do. If I say, well, sine squared equals negative sine, I can then divide through by, by sine, and I get sine theta equals, well, negative one. Um, if I do that, I end up losing an answer. So don't just divide through like that. We want to make sure we factor. Um, so I'm going to factor out a sine of theta. And now I've got two situations that can give me a solution. So one of them is that sine of theta equals zero, and the other one, sine of theta will equal negative one. Um, and here's where we think back to our unit circle. Sorry, my pin seems to be dying. Sine, if you remember off the unit circle, is the y value. So I want to know when does y equal zero. Well, that's here, and that's here. Um, and those are um, pi units apart. So since they say find all, the best way to answer that part is that theta is equal to pi k, because they're, they're pi units apart, where k is an integer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, so we'll say k is an element of the integers. The other part was that sine had to equal negative 1, and that, the y value here, is negative 1. And so that one will say that theta is equal to 3 pi over 2 plus um, 2 pi k, where k is an element of the integers. Um, if you had told me over here that theta was um, 2 pi k, that says 0 plus 2 pi k, so that gives me all of the values that land here. Or if you had told me that theta was equal to pi plus 2 pi k, um, if you'd given me both of these scenarios, those two scenarios are the same as this one scenario here. I'm inherently lazy, I mean efficient, um, and so I'm going to pick the shorter way to say that. But if you don't see this and you see this, that's fine.